Hello, everybody! Today we're going to take a look at the Arcane Mage's Expert Talent build. Level 15, we have Arcane Familiar, Presence of Mind, and Words of Power. Now, a lot of people are going to argue that Arcane Familiar is better as it does increase your maximum mana, but that thing despawns really, really often, whereas the Words of Power is straight passive, and what's it going to do? It's going to make it to where your Arcane Missiles proc more often. So, yeah. Even if it's only a couple extra percent more, I'd like to use that spell as often as I possibly can. Level 30, we have Shimmer, Cauterize, and Cold Snap. In my research, I have asked several people and almost everyone's going with Cauterize. And to be honest, I just about don't get why. Yes, it will save you from death and bump you up to 35% of your health, but then it's going to take away 28% of that health left, leaving you at 7%. Whereas, Cold Snap will now give your Ice Block an additional charge, heal you for 3% of your health every 1 second for 10 seconds. 30% health, and you can activate it twice. Not twice in a row, because it will trigger hypothermia, so there will be a 30 second delay. I figure, if you're paying more attention, Cold Snap is going to be a hell of a lot more useful. 45, we have two very strong contenders for this point. It's either going to go to Rune of Power or Encanter's Flow. End of discussion. Rune of Power? You need to make sure you are going to be able to cast that rune and stand relatively close to it. 10 seconds, you get a massive boost. But, if you are in a kind of boss fight where you're jumping and running all over the place, because of course, Blizzard hates spellcasters, then under that circumstance, I would recommend getting Encanter's Flow. It is less of a damage bump, but it's straight passive, and you don't have to remain stationary for it. But if you really, really want to stay with the Rune of Power like I do, at 75, you can also take Ice Flows. You can cast this while you're casting, and it makes it to where you can move around and still cast. So there's a lot of circumstances in which this can really save you and you can continue to use your Rune of Power. Now we did kind of jump ahead there, let's pop back to 60. We have Supernova charged up in Resonance. I'm going to argue that Supernova is just the go-to one here. It is an instant cast spell that uses no mana, but it also does not benefit from your Arcane Charges. And as us Arcane Mages know, Arcane Chargers are your lifeblood. What I like to use this ability for, other than just a little bit of burst AoE damage, is also as an interrupt. Someone starts casting a spell at me, boom, throw them in the air for a little bit. We've already talked about Ice Flows, now let's jump down to 90. Nether Tempest is your go-to here. So let's really look at what this does. Yeah, it's only going to do 11,000 points of damage with my character as he stands right now. So let's go ahead and pop up our calculator and see what exactly is that going to do for us. We can use 71, okay, we'll do point because obviously it's a percentage. 71 times a total of 4 arcane charges is going to, of course, get you 2.84. 11,000 damage, 1152. Which is going to give you 31,000 points of damage to your primary target and everyone around him. It's cheap on mana, it's an AoE, it's instant cast. Level 100. I gotta say, guys, I wasn't completely wowed by any of these. Now, when I first saw Quickening, I thought, wow, that has a lot of potential. What exactly does it do? Well, pretty much any time you cast just about any arcane anything, you're going to get an additional 2% haste for 6 seconds. And that's going to stack 50 times. Yeah, it can increase your haste by 100%. Arcane Orb. Now this one really does not look impressive at first glance. So let's look at it. Lob a big old ball of power that travels forward 40 yards dealing 14k damage. It is not going to get stronger for arcane charges, but it's also not going to get more expensive for arcane charges. It is cheap, it is instant, and every guy that it passes through is going to give you another arcane charge. You can go from one arcane charge to a max four with a single spell cast just by hitting a couple extra guys. It is a really fast way to do a little bit of damage and charge up really fast. Now guys, this is my two cents on the arcane mage. Throw down in the comments, do you agree, do you disagree, do you think we should tweak it just a little bit? Alright guys, I hope this was able to help you out a little bit, and of course, thank you for watching.